today we are going to be doing an empties video and it has been a while since I've done just a true like regular empties. I did do in empties for all of the makeup products that I used in 2022. So if you missed that video, definitely check it out to see if I met my yearly goal of using up 22 makeup products. So for today, we're just doing a regular non-makeup empties and it's been a while since I've done one of these because the last one that I filmed, I think probably around maybe like end of October, the video actually had no audio. I had a problem with my microphone and it did not record any of the audio and by by the time I realized it I had already thrown away all of the products so I couldn't even like <laughs> re-film or anything so I just had to scrap that video so there's a whole bunch of empties that just will never be seen but as always I have filled it up again and we have a ton of products here to talk about so I'm just gonna get into it and share with you guys all of the products that I have used up so if you've ever seen an empties you should not be surprised at this point but I did use up my favorite hair dye this is the L'Oreal Fairy Absolute Platinum this one is in the color extreme platinum that is what I used to lift my root color and then I tried a new toner this time which I thought was gonna be perfect and I have to say it's kind of growing on me more now but I definitely did not like it when I first colored my hair with it and I just got some toner from Sally's I've always heard that people really like the Wella color charm one so the one that I got I thought this would be perfect it's in the color T10 pale blonde so I got two of them I actually bought three but I only needed two to do all of my hair which was nice and then I bought of course the um, volume developer that goes with it I think I got it in a 10 volume but I really thought this was going to be like the perfect color for me but I'm not quite sure but like I said now that it's kind of faded a bit after I would say maybe like three or four washes I do kind of like this color more than when I originally applied it so when I actually applied it to my hair and it was all you know developing I kind of like the color of it it's more of that like kind of you know silvery kind of ashy color but then whenever I rinsed it out my hair just had a very sandy kind of color which you can probably still kind of tell especially up near my roots which is where I had most of the color that I didn't really like but as it has faded now I do kind of like this color a little bit more but it just I don't know I'm not quite sure if I like this one or not like I said I do have one more of the actual toner um, colorants so I don't know if I'll use that or not so we will see and again we'll see how this fades more I'm kind of okay with it now but right after I did it I was like nope I do not like this color <laughs> it just overall had a very like sandy brown kind of color it, and it did not seem like a pale blonde to me at all. The next one is another toner color that I had used and this one I had used several months prior so I think that this one was like one of the first items I used after my failed empties video. So it's been quite a bit since I used this one but this one is from Ion and this is the color Brilliance Cream Toner. This one is in the color Platinum Lace and I do remember liking this one. Um, I did use, I think I used two of them, this one is I-14. So I'm not quite sure why I didn't like just go back to this one. I guess it's because I'm always liking to try new things. So definitely I think that if I do want to get another toner to kind of like do my hair again, I would probably use this one before I would use the Wella one. Or maybe I would try a different Wella color because just something about this one just didn't... I didn't love it right away. And I remember what I liked about this one was that I liked the color that it gave because it was silvery enough to where it kind of like gave that icy kind of look, but it almost gave me the look of what happens whenever I dye my hair like a really dark saturated gray and then I let it fade for several months and then it turns more of like a silvery kind of blonde, which is what I really like. And whenever I do those really dark colors at first, I find that even though it takes time for it to fade to the color I want, when it gets there, it stays a little bit longer than if I was to just try to get that light silver silvery color to begin with and I remember this one kind of did that where it gave me that silvery color right away that I liked but again it didn't last as long but I would be apt to trying this one again because I do remember liking it All right next up I have some like shampoos and conditioners so first up I have some really cheapy ones this is the suave keratin infusion shampoo and conditioner and I really love these I love the scent of them they're inexpensive they make my hair feel good Good. I don't care if it's not good for your hair. I use them anyway, and I really like them. I do have quite a few shampoos I'm trying to work through at the moment, so um, I 
I would definitely repurchase those over and over and over and over again. This one is a conditioner. I think I used up the shampoo forever ago. I don't know why it took me so long to use up this conditioner because I really like this conditioner, but it lasted me forever. But this is the Garnier Whole Blends. This is the strengthening conditioner. It's called Ginger Recovery. And this one just smells like, it smells like Christmas in a bottle to me, not in like a pine way, but almost like in that cinnamony, nutmeggy kind of gingery honey kind of way. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it kind of smells like Smells like a like an autumn craft store almost, but I love this one. It smelled so, so good. So I do think I would repurchase this one sometime in the future because I just, I loved that scent. And I feel like it's just such a different scent for like a shampoo or conditioner. I've never quite had anything that smelled quite like that and I really liked it. Then next up, this was an expensive shampoo that I bought. This is from Aura and this is one of those companies that do like those, um, what's the word? Like customizable shampoos and conditioners and color treatments. I did do a whole video when I first got this and I finally used up the shampoo and I love the scent so much. If this was not so expensive, I would get just the shampoo of this because I didn't really care for the conditioner. Um, I had a color one and it dried my hair out so bad and I had dry hair to begin with so that one really um, probably I wouldn't rebuy. But as far as like scent alone on this, I loved it. I got the Moonlit Stroll scent and I got the strong version. You can pick like how strong your scent is too. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a fruity like Bath and Body Works like apple -y pear kind of something smelled so good. I loved the scent of it. My hair smelled amazing. So maybe if they ever have a sale, I might get some of these, but I can't really see myself repurchasing that because I believe it was probably like I'm going to say like $28 to $30 for just the shampoo alone. And I don't know what I was thinking whenever I purchased those. I guess I, I just got paid or something. But <laughs> that's more than I would like to spend on shampoo and conditioner. But the scent is so good. And then I think this is the last hair care product. Now, guys, if you have been a follower of me for a while and you used to like follow me back in my K-beauty days, I had a really big phase of reviewing a lot of K-beauty products and hair products and hair dyes and all kinds of stuff, which I still really, really love. But this has been in my collection for a while and I have finally used it up. This is from the brand, I think it's Nature Inside, and this is the Banana Mayo Hair Pack. So a hair pack is kind of just like a hair treatment and this is supposed to kind of be like the, I think there's a Tony Moly one that came out that was like this, um, but this was like a the Banana Banana mayo, which sounds gross when I say that. This one actually did make my hair feel really smooth and I liked it, but I'm not a big fan of banana and it does smell like banana. It doesn't smell like mayonnaise or anything, so if you're kind of like grossed out by that, it definitely doesn't smell like mayonnaise. But it just, it smells like banana runts, which I guess some people like, but I'm not a big fan of banana. So I don't know why I got this, but I did really like it and it made my hair feel very, very soft. I can't remember where I got it. It would have either been Rose Rose Shop or SweetKorea.com. But I did like that, but maybe if they had like a different scent, and like I said, I got this probably like five to six years ago, so I don't even know if they still sell it, if they still make it, if they have different scents or what, but if they had like a different scent, I might try it again. But I don't think I'm gonna repurchase that one. Oh, and of course, I missed a hair product. <laughs> this is the Organics Nourishing Coconut Anti-Breakage Serum. This, I really like this product. I have to say I'm not a big fan of the OGX shampoo and conditioners. The conditioners I don't mind as much, but the shampoos just make my hair feel like squeaky and like it, I feel like it doesn't get my hair clean. So I'm not a big fan of those, but I do really love this product. I don't know if they still sell it. I'm sure if they do, it's probably been repackaged, but this lasts me... God, I don't even know how long I've had it. But as far as like continuously using it, I only need the tiniest bit of this because it is like that serum-y oil almost. And I just really love the scent of it. It kind of smells like powdered donuts to me, like a coconutty powdered donut. Mm, like it smells so good. It's like you just like opened a can of like coconut milk. So I really like this. I probably would repurchase this one, but I do have so many like random hair serums I do want to use up. So this will probably be like, in the in the far off future I would repurchase so not anytime soon though oh and again another hair product I missed um this was just like a little hair treatment I believe I got this from shop miss a I think that's where I got this this one is called the Brazilian nut oil premium hair mask I ripped off the top so I don't know who it's by so many of these little hair masks on Shop Miss A and I believe they're like a dollar a piece. I actually really like this one and it made me kind of want to get some more little hair masks for every once in a while. I don't like to go crazy on it though because I feel like it can kind of like build up on my hair after a bit so definitely need like a good clarifying shampoo to, to kind of break down all that build up after a while. 
but every once in a while, I'd say like once a month doing something like that, I would really like for my hair because I do have very dry, processed, damaged hair. <laughs> Okay, I think that is all of my hair care products. So we're just gonna move on to the next item. I have a body wash. This is the Suave Sweet Pea and Violet Body Wash. I'm not picky about body washes, but I did finally use up all the little random things in my house. So now I'm like using all the Bath and Body Works ones that I really love. They have really good shower gels and I have been using Christmas cookie for like ever now, which is fine with me because I don't mind smelling like a Christmas cookie 365. And I feel like those last forever. I just need like the tiniest bit. So I am pretty much set on Bath and Body Works shower gels for a while now, but I definitely love those. And you will be seeing a lot of those in my empties coming up. All right. And then another product that I've had forever that I finally used up. And this one I actually really do like. This is the Jergens Original Scent Cherry Almond body lotion. I always like to use this right out of the shower. This one has that obviously that cherry almond scent. Mm, which I really love, but since I have been using this for probably like, I don't know, at least a year and a half, I'm kind of a little bit burnt out on the scent. So I'm glad to have finally used this one up and I totally would repurchase this one. I just feel like it's a really good, it's a really good affordable, just like body lotion. It makes my skin feel good and I do like the scent, but I need a little bit of a change for a bit. All right, next up I have some makeup wipes. These are the FBL ones that I always get from Big Lots. This is the 60 pack for $2 and this was the hemp makeup removers. Um, I didn't really notice anything different with these, but I did like them. So I would definitely buy those again. And then these are some that I've started to get at the Dollar Tree every once in a while. Like if I don't feel like going to Big Lots or if I've just happened to already be there. Um, these are from the Bolero brand and I have used up several of these and I do like these. This is the rose water and aloe one at the moment. It's a dollar twenty-five for thirty, so um, I would definitely buy these again. I feel like they're just really good in a pinch if I'm already at the Dollar Tree. And what I like to use with those is a micellar water. This is the one I get from the Dollar Tree. I feel like these are all exactly the same, so I'm not going to spend more than a dollar or something for these. So this one is just the one, like I said, Dollar Tree. I really like this one. I've used up many, many of these, so I would of course repurchase. And then I did use up a pack of these little cotton pads. I use these all the time. Number one, I use them a lot for like toner, obviously, but I also like to use these in my little wax melt warmers. I do like to use the little silicone cupcake liners inside of my wax warmer to put the wax in, but without fail, somehow wax still gets on the outside of those little silicone molds. So I always like to use these little pads just to kind of like wipe out and clean out my little wax warmer, just to kind of like keep it from getting gross. So those are perfect for that. And then I used up a couple like bath bomby type products. So this one was actually like a Christmas gift from someone and I had never had a lush bath bomb before. So that was my first time having one, which I love bath bombs, but I just can't <laughs> spend that much money on a single bath bomb for me. So it was nice that I was gifted it and it was a lavender one and I can't remember what the name is off the top of my head because it didn't have any label obviously. Um, but it was a lavender one and it came wrapped in a little muslin fabric, which I did not realize that if it comes wrapped in a muslin wrapper or a uh, cloth or something, there's a reason why it's on there and don't take it off. I didn't realize that. I took it off and all of the little lavender petals just completely got all over my tub. It was a nightmare to clean it out. And if I had just left it in the cloth, obviously, all of the rose petals would have got collected in that. And then you can just like throw that out or rinse it and reuse the cloth, which is what I ended up doing because now anytime I have a bath bomb with any type of floral or botanical in it, I'm going to be wrapping it in that cloth to collect all of that and just throw that right into the tub. So a lesson was definitely learned with that because I do not want to go through that hassle of cleaning up my bathtub with all these teeny tiny little lavender buds all over the place. All right, next some random randoms that I've used up. This one is a deodorant. I have finally used up my little cheapy regular like aluminum deodorants and I have completely made the switch to the native deodorants, which I talked about in a couple videos like several months ago that I had purchased a lot of them and I was gonna try them after I used up all of these. So I'm finally glad that I have gotten rid of them because I have switched over to native and I am obsessed with them. I love them a lot. This isn't like a sponsored or anything, but really quickly just about the natives that I love though. I love the scents. They have really, really good scents. They are more of an expensive per perfume. <laughs> they are more of an expensive deodorant. They're about, I would say like 12 to $13, which I'm used to paying like literally a dollar for my deodorant. So that was a little bit of a hard pill to swallow because they are 
up there but I really like them because number one I don't get those like really gross like clogged up underarms if you know what I mean like when I would go in the shower and like shave my underarms like there would be so much buildup from my deodorant that like you can feel it just clogging your underarms which can't be good that just can't be good so I have been using native and I don't have any plans to change back from them because I really enjoy them the scents are so good I can't lie I'm kind of obsessed and I have several of them. They recently just had a candy collection launch and I got three of the four cents. So I am stocked up on deodorant for a while and I definitely really, really like them a lot. Like I said, they don't give me that clogged up underarm. I do obviously sweat because they're not going to like block the um, sweat glands or anything anything like a regular aluminum deodorant would but that doesn't bother me at all because I feel like my underarms just feel a lot better if you know what I mean if you know you know but I, I don't can't quite explain it so I do still sweat a little bit but it's definitely manageable and the scent smells so good oh my gosh the scents last forever too and I don't have that gross like build up whenever I actually like wash my underarms like they feel like normal underarm skin <laughs> so sorry if that was a little TMI I apologize but it is what it is then I used up a random toothpaste. This is just one I got at the Dollar Tree. It's just the Colgate Cavity Protection. Not very particular on my toothpaste, so whatever works, works. I typically do like to try some whitening ones just because I feel like my teeth just, they're not like the yellowest ever, but they could be a little brighter. So I am using a whitening um, toothpaste at the moment. And speaking of whiter teeth, I did use up some Crest 3D white strips. Now I have to say, I am the worst at using these consistently and I have probably had this box forever. There's 24 strips in it, which makes 12 sets. So I have to say I've probably used this whole box over like three years and I'll use like one every three months or something. I'm not very good at using these at the time. So I don't ever get like the full results of like a like brightened whiter whitening look on my teeth because I just never use these consistently enough. But I did use up the last one. So and those are very expensive. Don't use my teeth as an example of what you can get from that product. Another bath product I used up. This was actually a bar soap that I got from Buff City Soap. This was the pink sugar soap. I need to start taking pictures of the soap because I realize this label tells you absolutely nothing. But it did smell exactly like pink sugar. And if you're not familiar with like the soap making process it actually the any soaps or fra fragrance oils rather that have vanillin in them which is the chemical compound that like makes it smell sweet like vanilla it will turn soap brown so this one since it has such a high vanillin content it turned the soap like black brown so it's kind of funny that it's pink sugar but it doesn't look anything like what you would expect a pink sugar but that's just a little bit if you are not familiar with soap making but I did really like that bar of soap I have several more from them and of course I am a soap maker myself so I have tons of soap that I make as well but I really like to purchase from a lot of other soap stores and just kind of like try them all out I just I'm a lover of soap even if it's not my own the next two items that I have these are the same item and I think that I've used these up I think one was like almost empty and then one like I spilled a little bit so um, I didn't just go through these like <laughs> that fast but these are the sensational nail gel primer as what I would call it it's basically what you put on your nail before you do the gel colors and it's supposed to help make the polish stick to your nail better and last longer and I have to say this is like a go-to like staple of mine I've repurchased this so many times I can I couldn't even tell you so I will definitely be buying that again it makes an absolutely noticeable difference of how long my gel nails stay on because I do at home gels and then I was going through a lot of my skincare stuff which I'm trying to like pare down and these were some samples that I had that I used up these are from Benel Co. and these are the zero clean it zero cleansing balms these are just like two little samples that I had so I used those up I do like cleansing balms a lot and I do like this one too but I don't think I've ever purchased a full size I might have once but I can't remember I'm really all about trying to like downsize with everything that I own but especially skincare products like that so I have another video coming up very soon if I have not already posted it about my um, my January makeup slash skincare challenge that I was doing so if that has not been posted yet then this is kind of like a little teaser for it and if it is already out then definitely check out that video <laughs> Okay, next up I use up a perfume. I am so proud of myself because I have a lot of perfumes and um, I just, I, I don't want a lot of things anymore. So I'm really working on using things up and this was a pin perfume. This one, I think it came in a set that I must have got like for Christmas or something, but this is the I Am Juicy perfume. I really like the scent of this one. I have to say, 
a lot of the juicy couture perfumes do kind of start to smell the same to me after a while but I do really really like them so this one I really enjoyed I don't know if I'd buy this particular one again because I feel like there's a few other juicy couture perfumes I like more than it but this one did smell really really good and I'm working on using up another one at the moment another one of these little pin spray type styles and then I also used up the Daisy Marc Jacobs little mini perfume. I am not a fan of Daisy perfume. It's just too florally for me. It's not something that I like, so I begrudgingly use this one up, but definitely nothing that I would purchase myself. And I think I have several more of those, so I don't know if I'm just gonna like give them to someone or just like try to work through them, but we will see. All right, and the last few things I have are candles and wax melts. So first off, we have the wax melt. This one is from Sensationals, and I really like this one a lot. I believe in like autumn or fall of 2021, they came out with this collection. It was kind of like Day of the Dead or like Mexican Heritage and stuff like that, but they had a whole bunch of the scents. And then this last fall of 2022, they brought back some of the ones from that year plus some more new ones. So I like went crazy and got a lot of them because I love them so much. And this one is La Novia or The Bride. This one smelled so good. Oh, I just love the scent of this one. This one I think was the one that smelled like pink starburst and like it smelled exactly like that so I love these I feel like they probably only bring these out in the fall time around like um end of like Halloween November day of the dead obviously so I would definitely repurchase these when they bring them back in the fall hopefully and stock up on them because I love like all the scents that they have like in this specific collection I have several that I'm working on right now and they just smell so good all right, it was a candle heavy time since the last video that I filmed and this one is a candle that I really really liked this one surprisingly I got from Aldi and anytime they have these I always try to find if they have the specific scent that I want my favorite one is the old-fashioned one and it's in this style of jar but this was more of like a summery one that they came out with and this one is called rum punch this one smelled really good too. It kind of had like that fruity Hawaiian-y punch kind of smell to it. And this was the candle that I always like to use in the bathtub whenever I would do like my bubble baths. So this one took me a little bit of time to use up because I wasn't burning it like every day. But I just really, really love this one. It has amazing throw and these candles were so inexpensive. I have to say they're probably like $5 a piece. So I was very impressed with this and I would totally buy from this again. I think it was from like Huntington if I'm not mistaken they do a lot of candles with Aldi so most of the candles you see there might be from like the Huntington Huntington home collection maybe or something like that but I am a big fan of their candles especially since they are so affordable then of course I have my OG favorites Bath and Body Works candles so I did use up the wild berry jam donut candle I love the jar of this there's no way I can throw it away I gotta find a purpose for this because it's so so cute but this one smelled so good I would totally buy this candle again tip if you want to get like a really clean way to get your like excess candle wax out of here if you put it in the freezer for like 20 minutes and then you take a butter knife and like pry it out it comes out so clean and you don't have to worry about wax all over the place so that's a little tip if you like to reuse your Bath and Body Works candles. And then of course the next one that I used up, I did not do the little trick yet, so I need to do that before I figure out what I wanna do with this little jar, cause again, so, so cute. But this was the Iced Blueberry Biscotti scent. Mm, another really good one. I would totally buy those scents again. Those are so good, but I do have quite a few Bath and Body Works candles at the moment, so I don't foresee myself purchasing anything anytime soon, but when they come around with the spring annual sale, I might be stocking up on some candles. And then the last candle I have, this one smelled so good. I have to say it was very frustrating burning this candle. This one I got from, I think TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those, um, and this is the DW Home Collection. This one was the Caramel Brulee Latte. This one smelled so good, but the problem I had with it was that because this is a tapered candle, when you first burned it, there's only a single wick in here, so it was not a large enough wick to burn all the way to the edge. So this candle tunneled terribly all the way through. I finally was able to use it all up by the time it got to the um, smaller size of the candle. But I have to say it was just very frustrating and I wouldn't recommend buying another candle from this line with this shape of the jar just because they didn't use a very good wick for that. But the scent was amazing. It smells like coffee and it was very strong. So I liked it for that, but burning it was very frustrating. All right, so that is it for all of my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.